Hey guys, this is Tim from Fit for an Autopsy, and I'm here to give you a little rig rundown on the Omens Tour. First up, we're gonna go through my guitars, AZ2402. Insane, I know it has six strings, which is kind of crazy for us. I use this thing as a backstage ripper, just to hang out, practice with. It's one of the nicest guitars that I've played in, uh, in a long time. It's got an Alder body, Seymour Duncan Hyperion pickups, and a roasted maple board and neck. The AZ series just came out, I think, two years ago. They're one of the most versatile guitars that I've ever played. We'll get into my live guitars. So this is a Ibanez AZ24047. It's a seven string version of that AZ. Same body style, Hyperion pickups, two point trim. The neck is a little bit thicker on a lot of these guitars than they would be on a normal prestige RG that I normally play, but it's still very comfortable. And that's one thing that I was kind of taken aback by when I first played it. I was like, wow, the necks are super thick, but they they don't, feel thick when you're playing it. It's, 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 it's hard to explain. So this is my Two Towers guitar. So I have it tuned in E standard with a G on the bottom. And this is what I break out at the end of every night when we play Two Towers. Next up, a lot of you guys know exactly what this is. I've had this guitar for the last almost five years and it's been my main A guitar since then. It's a RGR 752 FX, got your fixed bridge, basswood body, maple board, maple and wenge neck, reverse headstock. I run a single volume, a three-way blade coil tap in the bottom and right now pickup wise I am working on something very cool. I can't tell you what it is but uh, stay tuned and go follow Guitar Marie pickups. After that, I have another RGR 752. This is your ash-bodied uh, 752. I believe it's called the RG 752 AHM. It has a weathered black finish. Those special pickups that I was telling you about before. Ebony board, five-piece neck, reverse headstock like always because reverse headstocks are way cooler than everything else. And uh, this is my main G guitar. Heads Will Hang, Black Mammoth, Higher Level of Hate. We're playing all those songs on this. It's a little bit chunkier tone-wise in my opinion. I feel like the ash might be a little bit darker. I know a lot of people say it, it's a little bit lighter, but I feel like this guitar for me feels a little bit thumpier. That's why I like tuning this down a little bit and playing all of our G songs on this. Last up, we have an Iron Label Xyphos that Ivan has sent to me earlier this year. I didn't bring it out on our headliner just because I didn't have a case for it, but with the extreme cases coming out from Anki, now I have a place for it, which is great. Honestly, this is one of the most comfortable bodies that I've ever played. It just sits proper. For some reason, like when it's on my body and the angle of how the neck sits is just perfect. I definitely would recommend it. They have them in a six string version and a seven string version. Honestly, I didn't do anything to this guitar. Everything is bone stock and I love it. Let's talk about my pedal board. I was never a big fan of pedal boards for a long time. I really never really used wet effects live until the last couple of years. So I'm still trying to figure out what I like. I do believe that I came to a solid conclusion with this board. First out, so from my guitar, I have a Shure Wireless. It's the pedal board model. It goes straight from here into our JHS pedals buffered splitter. Now what that does is it sends one signal to my tuner, which goes to my 805, but then it sends another Another signal to the key input on my Fortin Zool. It's one of the best noise gates that uh, I've ever used. It goes into the Ibanez Big Mini, obviously just a regular tuner, into a Seymour Duncan 805 Overdrive, which if you're looking at settings, usually I sit at about there. That's my normal setting. Same thing with the Zool. Normally I'm about there for uh, the way I run my amp. I have these Bigfoot button. These things are amazing. They literally just go over the buttons on your pedals and just make the buttons way bigger because I have massive feet. It's easier for me to use. But yeah, from the 805, we got the Fortin Zool. And then out of the Fortin Zool, it's into the Temple Audio Design straight into the front of my amp. Right before the front of the amp, we go into a DBX, but I'll talk about that after I go through the pedal board. Now for my effects loop, we run from the Temple Audio into input A on this brand new Jeff Loomis all pedals devil's triad so all pedals was nice enough to send me one of these it's so simple and it's one of the best reverb delay combo pedals that i've ever used the way i run it on this pedal you have a drive a boost and a delay and reverb but the drive and the boost are in one input output and then the delay and the reverb are in another input output so i run this whole pedal 
in my effects loop. And all I did was zip tie this pedal for the drive so it just cancels it out. And I just use it for a reverb delay and a boost. So when I just want the reverb delay, I just pop that button on. If I want a solo or anything like that and I want to bump up my volume, I hit the reverb delay and the boost at the same time. That runs back into my DBX before it hits the amp again. Okay, so let's talk about my secret weapon. Now, I've been doing this for a while. A lot of people in the industry do it, but it's not really talked about. This DBX 266XS, which is a compressor and it's a gate as well. Also has an output gain that I use occasionally. What I do is after my pedal board, I run straight into this DBX channel one into the front of the head. So I push the output gain, maybe three dB, nothing crazy. And then I use the gate just as a backup. I don't really mess around with the compressor too much. For my effects loop as well, I run the gate right before I go back into the head. So what this does is it eliminates all of the hum that's coming out of my head to my cab. A lot of people don't see this as an issue, but when you're playing live, you want your amp to be as quiet as possible. So that's why I hit this right before into here. I just turn it up enough to where it completely eliminates the hum, and that's about it. Last but not least, we have the 5150 Iconic. EVH was nice enough to send these over for us to test out a couple months ago. And to be completely honest, for a head that's under $1,000, it completely blew my mind. I honestly wanted to be playing a 5153 on this tour, but once I tweaked this, I was just like, why, you know, why go out of my way and try and acquire one because of, you know, they, they weren't in stock, stuff like that. When I could just run this and sound just as good, and to be honest, this thing's a ripper. So if you're looking for a, a solid head, I mean, we're doing massive venues, we're doing small venues, we're doing all these different shows, and this thing has been perfect every single time. So I would definitely recommend checking these out. Thank you guys for watching. Huge shout out to Ibanez, EVH Gear, All Pedals, Guitarmory, all the companies that we work with for you know, helping us out, Anki, for keeping our guitars safe on the road. Thanks for watching and uh, maybe I'll be doing this on every tour because I know for some reason we like to switch up gear because me and Pat are definitely guitar nerds when it comes to that stuff. So maybe next year or next tour we'll have a different rig rundown for you. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, to be honest, I was a little hesitant on using it because certain ways what? What? I don't look good? You want to get in the video with me? Yeah, what is this for? It's a rig rundown. <laughs> this is Alex Marquides. He's amazing at sound. We met like 10 years ago. And, uh, you know, he's good. He likes diving and long walks on the beach and, uh, you know, doing sound and nerding out about gear. <laughs> <laughs> And this is my stage Snapple that I bring on stage with me every day so that I have a little bit of extra bump in my step every day. A little oomph. It's gorgeous. Yep. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right, ready? I honestly don't think I've ever played a nicer guitar.